In the previous lecture, we saw the effect of time shifting and time scaling on the fundamental time period of a signal. Now in this lecture, we will check if there is any effect of time reversal and phase shift on the fundamental time period. So we have two operations, time reversal and phase shift. We will perform them in two different examples and we will check if FTP is same or not. But before that, we will quickly revise what we have learned till now. In the last lecture, we took one signal x1t and it was equal to sine 2 pi t. We calculated the fundamental time period and it was equal to 1 second. After which we performed the time shifting. We had a new signal x2t which was equal to x1 t plus 2. You can see the time shifting. And from here, we got sine 2 pi inside the bracket t plus 2 or we can write it as sine 2 pi t plus 4 pi. And from here also, we got the fundamental time period as 1 second because you can see omega naught is 2 pi in both the cases. After this, we had a new signal x3t which was equal to x1 twice of t and from here we got sine sine 4 pi t omega naught is not same now it is 4 pi and t naught was 1 by 2 so you can clearly see in case of time shifting the fundamental time period is same so there is no effect of time shifting on the fundamental time period it is independent from time shifting but in case of time scaling, we have a new fundamental time period which is 1 by 2 and it is not same as the initial fundamental time period. So 1 by 2 second is the new fundamental time period and from this result we can say that the fundamental time period is not independent from the time scaling and we also obtain the general way to calculate the new fundamental time period if there is signal xt with fundamental time period as t naught then the new signal which is x a t you are performing the time scaling you are scaling the time by a is having the fundamental time period as t naught over mod of a where a should not be equal to zero so this was all we completed in the last lecture and now we will start with the new discussion in which we will perform the time reversal and phase shift. Let's take the another signal, the fourth signal x4t and it is equal to, to x1 minus t. We are performing the time reversal here. x4t is a signal which we have obtained after reversing the time of signal x1t. x1t is equal to sine 2 pi t. So x1 minus t is simply equal to sine 2 pi minus t and we already know sine minus t is equal to minus sine t so i can write minus sine 2 pi t in this 2 pi is omega naught the fundamental angular frequency and we can calculate t naught it is equal to 2 pi over omega naught or 2 pi over 2 pi which is equal to 1 second so one second is the fundamental time period of signal x4t which is same as the fundamental time period of signal x1t. So there is no effect of performing the time reversal on the fundamental time period of the signal. So I can write, I can write fundamental time period t0 is independent, independent of time reversal operation let's take the fifth example in which we will perform the phase shift fifth example the signal is x5 t and we have obtained the signal once we have the phase shift of 45 degree in signal x1 t x1 t with phase shift equal to 45 degree so the new signal x5 t is simply equal to sine 2 pi t plus 45 degree. 
in this case also omega naught is equal to 2 pi so the fundamental time period is again equal to one second so there is no effect of phase shift on the fundamental time period t naught is independent independent of phase shift okay now we will solve one example and we will try to use what we have learned till now in this example there is signal xt and the fundamental time period of signal xt is t naught and it is equal to 8 seconds there is other signal yt which is equal to x of minus 40 plus 6 okay this is signal yt and now you need to find out the fundamental time period of signal yt you need to find out the fundamental time period of signal yt let's see how we can solve this question xt is having the fundamental time period as 8 seconds and now we will perform the time shifting x t plus 6 and as you already know there is no effect of time shifting on the fundamental time period x t plus 6 will have the same ftp as x t so 8 seconds is the fundamental time period of this signal also now we will perform we will perform the time scaling 40 plus 6 and you know already time scaling will have some effect on the fundamental time period ftp is not independent of time scaling and we have already obtained the general rule to find out the new fundamental time period it is equal to t naught by mod a and in this case in this case a is equal to 4 so t naught which is 8 divided by mod 4 is equal to 2 seconds so the new fundamental time period is equal to 2 seconds now we will perform the time reversal x minus 40 plus 6 and we have seen just now that time reversal is having no effect on the fundamental time period so the fundamental time period which was 2 seconds will remain same so 2 seconds is the answer of this question and this is how you have to use the properties which we have learned till now in the coming presentations we will discuss the effect of amplitude scaling amplitude shifting and amplitude reversal on the fundamental time period